the ability to know I am is another word for it. Presence, witness is the same and different word remains the same. That's the only constant thing. The only constant thing is I am. It's the same I am as you were five years old. Because when you're five years old, you know you are. Nobody needs to come and tell you you are. Right now, 30, 40, 50, 60 years after, does anyone need to come and tell you you are? You know you are. You don't need to read books. You don't need to go to your spiritual guru. You don't need to go to your priest. You know you are. That's a no-brainer. You're identifying the I am with your emotions. Oh, but I feel depressed, or I feel sad, or I feel down. You're identifying your true nature with something that comes and goes. Your emotions are going to come and go. I am doesn't come and go. I am the only is the only thing that is always here. So choose your seat. Do you want to be sitting at the crown of your kingdom, be the crown of the kingdom, or you want to be this beggar who needs to work on itself all the time and its ups and downs? Which one do you want to be? Make your decision. Make a decisive decision and stick to it. If you come to me and ask me for my help, I, I'm not pointing out to you, Jesse. Okay, I'm just talking generally to the world. Okay? So, I don't want you to feel like, take it personally. Okay, sweetheart, I really appreciate you bringing it up. But now my... I'm talking to my audience all over the world. If you come to me, then I would like to share the chair of the king, the chair of the queen with you. And I'll wait here for you to join me. If I have to wait another hundred years, I will wait for you. But come and join me and be free and enjoy this freedom. But if you want to suffer, then just stay where you're at. But you're already free. And that freedom could be recognized in an instant. The moment you change your perception and perspective, you find yourself that you're, you are free and you're far, far removed from the drama of life. Far, far away from it. None of these things are happening to you. All of these things that are happening in the world is a phenomena that is happening. It is an appearance and it disappears. None of it stays the same. Hence, is not real. What is real must always remain the same. If it comes and goes, including this body, it's not real. Don't invest in it. Re realize you are the witness, realize the sense of I am, and you're instantly free from the world. Instantly. It's an instant, like instant coffee. The moment you put, you put the coffee beans, 
Folger, you bought some Folger coffee, whatever. I'm not into instant coffee. I don't care about it. But the moment you put it in there, boom, the coffee is there. This is the same way. You can instantly be free forever by recognizing I am. Not I am this, not I am that. Refuse that. Oh, I am a healer. I am a teacher, I am a mom, I am a victim, I am whatever. Don't be anything. Don't be anyone. Don't be anything. Refuse being anything or anyone. Remain nothing. And you're free. Become something and then you suffer. Get into the habit of not thinking. The more you get in a habit of not thinking, the more you become the master of your mind. The mind is a horrible master and a wonderful slave wonderful servant but a horrible master all of your life you have suffered because of your mind learn to master it and have your mind serve you in order to do that you want to avoid giving it power cut its power source Refuse any kind of teachings that is strengthen your mind. Refuse doing it. Don't do any mental practices by trying to manifest this, manifest that. Cut it off. Be quiet. Be silent. Put an effort into every day of meditating sacrifice what you have to sacrifice for meditation create time make that your priority be quiet be silent and that increases your awareness make awareness your priority in your life Everything else that you do must be designed to serve this purpose. 